Hello, I am Bishop Francis Aline of the Diocese of Georgetown in Guyana. And uh, taking a moment with you to share a bit from the document New Ways of Being Church in a Digital Milieu, which was published by the bishops of the Antilles Episcopal Conference. In particular, to share with you a few thoughts on paragraphs 26 to 28 in the document. I'd like to begin with a, a quote from St. John's Gospel, chapter 1. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, We have found him whom Moses in the law and the prophets wrote, Jesus, son of Joseph, from Nazareth. Nathanael said to him, From Nazareth? Can anything good come from that place? Philip replied, Come and see. When Jesus saw Nathanael coming, he said of him, There truly is an Israelite in whom there is no deception. Jesus saw a man that was genuine, sincere, transparent. Some translators say a man with no guile. His sense of identity, his manner of behavior, his quality of relationships are in harmony. And Jesus goes on to tell Nathaniel that because of these qualities, he will see great things. He will see heaven open, the angels of God ascending and descending over the Son of Man. So the quality of genuineness being an, open, an opening to fullness and fulfillment of life. In Nathaniel's time, people may have been bombarded with ideas about religion, world domination, interfacing with people from other cultures, perhaps their own experience of globalization. In that process, each person would be trying to discern what they can buy into, what they can accept, what they must reject, perhaps just questioning what these realities are, or perhaps being overwhelmed by them. In our own age, as mentioned in paragraph 26 of the document, we are surrounded by realities such as technology, globalization, climate change, phenomena today that impact on every person on the planet. How do we make sense of this? How do we navigate our way through it? How do we negotiate our place in the world? In the Gospel of John, Jesus met Andrew. Andrew went to Philip. Philip went to Nathaniel. A process of sharing, of searching, of discerning. Unique to our world today is that we have the platform of the web to search and to share, to converse, to listen. And unique to this platform, there is a plethora of voices many without names or faces, saying what they approve of and like, what they feel, what the crowd is saying, and in instances, trying to confuse, mislead, and deceive. Who are the Nathaniels today? Who are the persons genuinely seeking the facts and the truths and choosing the information that resonates with their deeper sense of worth, sense of identity, sense of responsibility, and wholesome relationships with God and one another. A quote from Pope Paul VI is offered in paragraph 27. Modern man listens more willingly to witnesses than to teachers. And if he does listen to teachers, it is because they are witnesses. 
to quote from the same paragraph, a church, as church, we need to find ways to form intentional disciples who commit, as imperfect as we all are, commit to living the faith handed on to us, teaching each other as neighbours and living the commandment of love. The church has had a rich tradition of, as it were, baptising various practices and customs among people and drawing these customs into the life of the church in such a way as to allow it to serve and further its mission. When the earlier channels of media, such as radio and television, came into being, the church recognized the scope of these technologies and quickly brought them into the service of the kingdom. The digital world, says Pope Francis, as quoted in paragraph 28, can be an environment rich in humanity, a network not of wires, but of people. Christian witness, thanks to the internet, he says, can thereby reach the peripheries of human existence. We are not idle bystanders, simply being tossed here and there by the going trends. Our baptism calls us to engage, to take up the tools it offers and work to build what is good, what is genuine and what is of the kingdom of God. Our discipleship is to see great things, choose great things and secure great things for others. God bless.